the cyanos just getting out of control. Been trying to wait it out and just kind of let nature take its course, but it's taking forever. Um, kind of getting worse. I'm tired of looking at it, so I'm going to put some chemical clean in there and get it taken care of. So before you do anything, you want to first and foremost confirm what you have is in fact cyanobacteria. Sometimes people confuse dino for cyanobacteria, and if you do in fact have dino, you'll want to check out my other video on how I finally beat uh, dino flagellates, and I'll put the link to that video in the description. But just in one second, I will show a couple of pictures to help you um, see the difference in what cyanobacteria looks like and what dinos look like. As you can see in the picture on the left, and in my experience, dino flagellates almost always show up brown in color. Um, the hobby term seems to be snot-like appearance with the stringy stuff floating up into the water um, with little bubbles on top. Comparatively, the cyano on the right is much deeper red in color and shows up in mats across your sand and or rock. Now when it comes down to what actually causes the cyanobacteria in our tanks, my answer is going to be similar to what I say in my dinos video and that I don't really know. Not many people do. There's tons of theories out there. Some of them have a focus on the environment what's going on outside having an effect on our tanks inside. Some of them, or a lot of them, have a focus on um, nutrients, primarily nitrates and phosphates, either being super high or being super low. Um, the team at Bulk Resupply has done a ton of experiments on this, and what I took away from their research is that um, they really can't pinpoint one thing, per se, that causes cyanobacteria. And so uh, their advice is to really practice a good maintenance routine or schedule. Make sure you're doing your water changes Make sure that uh, you have good filtration, you have water flow um, or enough flow in the tank and that um, you know, overall you're achieving that stability um, as a good approach to um, fight this long term or at least prevent it um, from showing up in the first place. Um, when it comes to the nitrates and phosphates, I personally think that um, it's an imbalance of the two. But again, that's just one um, piece of the equation that there's many things causing this perfect storm um, when the cyanobacteria actually shows up. So. To fight the, the cyanobacteria, there's a few ways um, you can do that. One you know, approach is going to be longer term. That's uh, using beneficial bacteria um, to outcompete um, the cyanobacteria, so things like Microbacter 7. Um, and then there's more aggressive approaches um, like I chose to use here with ChemiClean. Um, I believe it's Mark Levinson's from yeah. Elev's Reefs um, approach as well. Um, and kind of his philosophy in that, you know, if it only shows up every six months or even longer than that, I'm okay with you know, putting the ChemiClean into the tank takes it out in 24 to 48 hours, and I don't see it again for quite some time. And so I follow uh, that approach and that philosophy here, and uh, I'll take you through a few steps here and um, ultimately me getting rid of the cyanobacteria in my tank. So to purchase ChemiClean, you either are going to need to go to a specialty aquarium shop or get it online, but once you have it, the first thing you're going to want to do is empty your skimmer collection cup if you choose to continue running the skimmer. Um, I recommend you do, and I'll say why that is here in a bit. And once you've done that, you want to turn off any UV sterilizers and discontinue any ChemiPure or carbon treatments that you may be doing at the time. Now, the most important instruction for ChemiClean is increasing your oxygen levels because the treatment will decrease um, oxygen in your tank. So grab a pump, um, some air stones like this, and pump as much oxygen into the tank as you possibly can. For every 10 gallons of aquarium water, you want to dissolve one level scoop of the ChemiClean product into your tank. For this system, it's right around 12 or 13 scoops. Now earlier when I mentioned I choose to leave my skimmer on, it's because the product does cause your skimmer to overflow quite a bit, and that causes all of these bubbles to go into the system, just giving you that much more oxygen pumped into the tank. This here is after 24 hours of the treatment, and as you can see, most of the cyanobacteria is already gone. And then as a final step, you want to do a pretty big water change. Um, they recommend 20%. And so for me, that was right around 25 gallons of water to be changed. And I just used the opportunity to go ahead and siphon the sand to get those last pieces of detritus and any um, leftover cyanobacteria out to make the sand bed look really nice. Once you finish the treatment, the way to get your protein skimmer to stop overflowing in the instructions is to essentially allow it to overflow into a collection cup and just keep dumping it and replacing it with fresh salt water. For my Bubble Mega skimmer, that's never really worked for me. And so what I have found that works is simply raising the skimmer up in the water and then over, say, a couple of hours, it slows way down and I just drop it back down. 
And after just a short 48 hours, my sand bed is looking great again, and I can focus on other things.